Hello, Haley and Rick. Lynn here with Ring and SEO and Digital Marketing. First of all, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to make this short custom video that Tony promised with tips and tricks on how you can increase your online presence all on your own and in return bring in better paying customers for the services you prefer the most and they are ready and able to purchase those services. So let's get on with it. First of all, I love your website. I love the darker colors with the bright green, very nice pops of color. I would like to see your services have a drop down here to make it easier for your customers because Google really likes that. Um, first of all, before I get into this, pardon me. Um, so just to let you know, on Google, there are 8.5 billion searches every day. And many of those are for your services in the area that you service. So in order to get a bigger chunk of these searches, there are certain things that Google is looking for. First of all, um, whatever is the best for its customers is what Google is going for. So it really wants, you really need to have around 1,500 words of unique, helpful content. Um, within that content, you need to have the buyer intent, location specific keywords, such as Somerset painting. You guys are at top of the list for Somerset painting which is absolutely great. I'm just so happy for that. But there is a lot of other things that you are missing out on. Now, along the words of content we are just talking about, also the way your images are saved goes into those words of content. So as you can see, yours is just Somerset Home Improvements, and that's the way they have all the pictures saved. Now, if you had the Somerset painting, or maybe if you moved on to a city that's closest to you and did like Brooklyn or Ann Harbor, things like that, any of those can change the amount of search volume you're getting. So with the words of content, you want to have around 1,500 words of content for any of the pages with the different services, whatnot, that you really want to be found on Google for. Um, I would also like to see a different way to get to your back pages. I don't believe you have that. You have a blog, which is great. Um, so I would like to see a drop down list here, which perhaps has more pictures because pictures are great. They're very eye catching for your future customers. Also a great way to put in more keywords. And then also you can also have it to be links to your other back pages. So the easier you can make it for your customers, the better in Google's eyes. So let's go ahead and go look at some numbers. Um, this is a program they use. It is rather pricey, but it tells us a lot about websites and what Google is seeing. So let's talk about UR and DR and what that means. So UR is your trust with Google and DR is your power with Google. Now, the way that you get this power and trust is through backlinks. And I'm not sure if you know or not, but a backlink is just a link on someone else's website that points back to your website that transfers power from them to you. So you do have 185 backlinks from 42 different websites. Now, the way that I know that these are necessarily the absolute best backlinks that you can get is because if they were, then these two numbers would be much closer together. In my industry, we call this the golden ratio. If it can be within one point or so, or very, very close, um, then that is exactly where you want to be because you want to make sure that your backlinks are not only giving you trust, but they're also giving you power. And that's going to get you found a lot faster. So let's go ahead and go look at some of your competition. This is Triple Painting out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. And as you can see, um, they have a lot of content on here. They have a lot of pictures. They also have what I was talking about, the links to the back pages. Really, really nice. So let's go ahead and look at their numbers really quickly. So this is what I was talking about when I was talking about the golden ratio. Now granted, their backlinks could be a little bit better, but these numbers are very close together. So that tells me that there are 4,000, almost 5,000 backlinks that they have really good backlinks. Now look at the amount of traffic that they're getting. Over 50, 
thousand people coming to visit their website. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and go look at their keywords. So for their keywords, let's just say that you had cabinet refacing Somerset or cabinet refacing and armor or something of that nature. If you're adding on these different search terms, even if you add it on a separate page and we rank the pages to be found for those services. I mean, what would another hundred people coming to your website? Let's just say that half of those people decided to purchase your services. What does it look like for your business? And that's, that's really nothing when it comes to marketing. So I think that these would be some things that you could think about. You know, maybe think about what you're not being found for that you would like to be found for. And I mean, what if you're just booked months and months out? Fabulous. So the last thing that I want to talk to you about is going to be the Google Map Pack. And the reason this is important is because it's going to be the very first thing that people see besides ads when they look up your services. So let's go ahead and talk really quickly about what you can do to be first on the Google Map Pack. The first thing is going to be citations. Now, all a citation is, is your name, address, and phone number across different places across the web. Whether it's Facebook or Instagram or social media, or it's things like the Better Business Bureau, or different directories. Um, for painting, you could do anything from residential painting. You could also be found in real estate, websites, anything to do with houses and painting. You don't want to be found in like an ice cream website, of course, because that can actually hurt you. Now, across these different directories and websites across the web, you want to make sure your name, address, and phone number is correct and the same as your Google My Business. Very, very important. Now, also, with the images, we recommend at least 25 images, but personally, I think every time you go and do a job, try to take a couple of pictures, upload them to your Google My Business, just like the images that you have on your website, go ahead and save them to the keywords and the search terms that you want to be found for, and then also geotag your images. That way there is no doubt to Google, you are doing the services you say you're doing in the area you say you're doing it. It really builds your authority with Google. So let's go ahead and go on down now. The next important thing, of course, is reviews. The more five-star reviews you can have, the better. You want to do these slowly and organically though, you don't want to add 10 reviews in one day because Google is going to look at them like they're probably fake reviews. Um, we do have some tricks to be able to make getting reviews easier. And then lastly, if you do happen to get a not so great review, try to respond to it as quickly as possible. We really recommend within a day of that. And you can link your Google My Business directly to your phone so that you can get these messages but now we're going to talk about your business description. A lot of people do not do their description. They have up to 750 words that they can utilize. You really want to get as close to that as you possibly can. Really list out all your services and what sets you apart from your competition. All right. So Haley and Rick, I really hope that you have enjoyed this video, I hope that you found it informative and that I hope that it really helps you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and we would really appreciate some feedback on this video and what you thought of it. I really hope that you have a wonderful day. Take care.